Well, thank you very much for joining us, Flora. Thank you for having me. Yeah, no, it's our pleasure, it's our pleasure. Um, so I'm going to ask you a very basic question to begin with. Of course. Why did you choose to run for Director of Wellbeing? Of course, so um, I getting involved in student wellbeing was probably the best decision that I ever made at St Andrews. I've had the opportunity to meet so many wonderful people, be involved in so many wonderful initiatives. But then obviously when you know you're doing this alongside your studies, there's only so much you can do and I want to be I want the opportunity to be involved in a much wider base of things. Um, also there are things that the DOWA gets to do that you know as an average student you don't get to sit on like the student experience committee, you don't get to interact quite as much um, with members of staff and things like that and that's something that I would be really interested in doing so that you know I can create a real positive change for the university. Yeah brilliant, okay. And, and what experience do you think that you would bring to the role? Mm -hmm. So I've been the president of Sex Expression um, where I increased awareness around sexual health issues, I also was able to work in areas of equal opportunities, I worked with LGBT plus and the member for gender equality. Mm -hmm. um, I have been the peer support coordinator for the last year where I've really transformed the service. It's something I'm actually very proud of. I increased referral rates more than tenfold last semester alone compared to the previous year. And I think that experience in particular shows you know, my drive, but also that I can work with members of student services. I have a really good working relationship with them now, which I think would be so helpful as, um, as Dowell. I've also done um, well-being-y type stuff in academic schools. So I run the School of Biology's mentoring scheme. So I'm used to working with academic staff as well. I sort of know what makes them tick too. Um, and I sat on the well-being subcommittee where I get to contribute ideas to a range of issues. Um, and I've led some events there as well. Okay, brilliant. And then um, to the uninitiated like me, you have no idea what sex expression is or what it does. Yes. Uh, you can explain it. Yeah. So yeah. sex expression is um, a national charity that goes into schools and teaches sex education. Um, when I was the president, we had a slight issue in that it was quite difficult to engage schools, which meant we sort of had to change what we were doing, which meant we did a lot more outreach within the university and ran a lot of events aimed more at students and we're doing less in the school area. But I think that also allowed us, you know, promote ourselves better within, it gave us a year to promote ourselves slightly more within the university rather than focusing on what, you know, the initial task was. Yeah. Um, which I mean to explain peer support as well because some people don't know what that is. Oh yeah, of course, of course. Yeah, so peer support um, trains students in active listening and then we pair students who are struggling, who are often referred from student services with our peer supporters and they'll do things like meet for coffee or they'll go to events together so students who are like anxious to go to a, go to a society event by themselves can go along with a peer supporter a few times until they have until they're comfortable to go themselves and they made some friends in society. It's a really great service for students who are struggling, but also students who just need someone to talk to who isn't an adult about their problems. Yeah, okay, fantastic. Um, and do you think that there's anything the current director of wellbeing has done well, has done badly, you know, mm -hmm. anything you'd change, anything you'd keep? Yeah, um I think that Nick works really well. Um, and Nick is really good at making sure he's working with everybody within um, you know, the wellbeing community, which I think is really important. But I think there are some issue, issues he hasn't touched on this year that I think maybe he should have. Um, things like alcohol awareness, I think, are really important in a society like St Andrews has. Okay, uh, so when you talk about alcohol awareness, mm -hmm. is that just... Sorry, my glasses. <laughs> is, is that you know, awareness of you know, the dangers of drinking too much or, kind of, or so in, just being safe with it? Is it? So in terms of alcohol awareness, I want to set up a new branch of Stand Together, which is the um, collaboration between student services and the union. Mm -hmm. I want to set up a new branch of that to focus on alcohol awareness and what I mean by alcohol awareness within that is training societies in how to run events that are inclusive to people who don't drink or don't like to drink a lot. Um, so I want to create that kind of training, but I also want this, branch, um, this new branch to run campaigns not on not drinking, but on drinking sensibly and on not peer pressuring others into drinking. Um, and possibly how to cope with issues around peer pressure and alcohol. Mm, okay, interesting, interesting. Um, and to so someone like me who's you know quite apathetic <laughs> about student elections, if you, if you could just condense you know your, your platform to a few sentences, what would that be? So my platform in terms of what I'm running on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And what, what, what do you do when you when you got the role? If you got the role, sorry. Yeah. So um, the main thing I want to do is make well-being accessible to everybody. Mm -hmm. So things like running events that don't perpetuate gender stereotypes within well-being. So like de-stress FIFA nights and things that might bring in like new audiences. Okay. Um, also, making sure that all students have support. I want to run a no no problem too small campaign, um, which will hopefully 
encourage students to get support before a problem becomes a crisis. Um, and hopefully that could also relieve a little bit of the pressure on student services because I'm aiming on running this through peer support. Um, and peer support can then refer on issues that they can't deal with to student services, but also filters out a little bit of the stuff that's going through the wellbeing and life advice that student services. Mm -hmm. um, I also, within equal opportunities, I'm quite passionate about widening access and participation in students who are being exploited in part-time employment. So th those are like my main issues in that, in terms of um, widening access. I want to ensure that students have support after they come to St Andrews, so we're not just supporting students in like getting here and encouraging students from widening access backgrounds to come, but once they're here as well, we're being like, you know, you have, you have struggles in this town that maybe students who aren't from widening access backgrounds don't, and focusing on those and ensuring they're getting the support they need. Um, students in part-time employment, I've heard loads of stories of employer exploitation, and I don't think people really know what's going on because there's no one there to advocate for those students. So I want to create a member for students in, part in, in employment who can support those students and also fight employer exploitation and hopefully work at the university on that as well. Yeah, brilliant. Well, Flora, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah.